Wave, listen to me. The stage is Sapporo, Hokkaido. One night, Minare Koda spills her heartbroken woes to a radio station worker she meets while out drinking. The next day, she hears a recording of her pitiful grumbling being played live over the air. Minare storms into the station in a rage, only to then be duped by the station director into doing an impromptu talk show explaining her harsh dialogue. With just one recording, the many eccentric facets of Minare's life begin to pull every which direction as she falls ever deeper into the world of radio. Hey everybody, welcome back to A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. We're doing another first impressions video and I am so excited that we finally have not only a manga, because the manga came out a while ago, I think 2014, but we finally have an anime that centers around my line of work. That's something I have been wanting for ages, ever since I discovered what anime was and or manga. I've always wanted a manga to take place in a radio station. Why? Because this medium that we all love, anime, manga, you know, uh, they're interchangeable really. I, I, I've always been fascinated that the Japanese creators have this uncanny ability to take any subject matter and create a story around it that we're so used to western stuff being more um, generic and tropey it's such a breath of fresh air and ever since i discovered that fact about anime and manga i've always said dang i, I mean I, I want something to do with radio because that's uh where i work uh, i've worked in radio stations so i i know my way around that stuff and this story is quite hilarious. It's a seinen series, and I love, love the animation style. It's so cool to me that it can be taken seriously, and it looks fantastic. The characters are mature looking and refined, and it gives off an elegance to an otherwise wacky, bizarre story. You have the character of Minare, and she, like I said at the beginning, she uh, got dumped and is drunk at a bar and starts spewing out this monologue of her hatred for uh, men and uh, all the wrongs that have happened in her life. And, you know, she's talking to this radio executive that she doesn't know who he is and <laughs> barely knows him for a couple hours at this bar. And he... Uh, yeah, kind of a dickish move, uh, records the whole thing, and then later at the station, uh, plays the recording in a segment about, uh, like, ridiculous public encounters of, you know, people talking nonsense and, like, uh, public opinion hour, something like that, more, more of a comedy than, than anything. And when she hears it, uh, the, the day after, after getting over a hangover and getting uh, past the breakup, uh, first we do know that she works at, uh, I, I believe it was an Italian-themed restaurant, I might be wrong on that, but she hears her recording playing in the radio and she storms into the offices of that radio station and demands an explanation. And instead, the quick-witted uh, radio team uh, they put on the uh, they they put her on live and turn on the mic and she basically starts explaining her thing <laughs> live on the air. It's a very simple premise. I practically summarized the entire episode. There are some things added in that will confuse a lot of people who do not know anything about this series. Uh, uh, the beginning where she's reading about this deadly encounter with a bear. It makes sense later on that uh, when you find out that she is uh, reading lines on, uh, you know, recording lines uh, for uh, a radio thing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, part of the charm of the series, obviously, is the character interactions, the character works, as I like to mention. 
and the story beats how it facilitates for one character inter to interact with another and it's all done in a really realistic sort of way it reminded me of watching a rom-com movie or or a drama or something you know it didn't feel like i was watching an adaptation of a manga and i liked it uh, i i love that a story can do that and i love that it's animated and it shows the power of animation and what it can do and how you're able to create and craft any story that you want whether it's an absurd uh plot like this you know uh radio being the main focus of the story is highly appealing to me i love it and it makes me relate to the situation it makes me relate to the characters there's just one joke where the mixer uh obviously he, you know he's mixing the uh audio and he makes the uh commentary uh, like, oh man, this is gonna be a pain to mix, and I get it. I completely understand. I, I got you, bro. <laughs> but overall, uh, the cast of characters is pretty fantastic. Minari is a wonderful character. I, I love how expressive and um, the voice actress, which I do not know her name. I think it's Riho, Riho Sugiyama. I'm reading off a list here. Uh, she does a fantastic job of bringing this character to life, and her vocal interactions with the character with the other characters is fantastic. How energetic and expressive she is, and it's extremely complemented by the animation. If you would have gotten a subpar team, trust me, it would have not made an impression on me. Uh, so I think they, they really did a good job. The animation's clean, crisp, precise. Everybody looks refined and beautiful in a kooky, bizarre kind of way. The story is eccentric enough where I am intrigued and want to continue uh, uh, watching the series. And yeah, I I'm in it for the long haul. I love the premise and I love the characters and I cannot wait to see what the story takes off, especially with the whole uh, bear scenario. <laughs> I cannot uh, I cannot wait for more. I think Wave Listen to Me is an exceptional usage of anime as a means to give you an otherwise untellable story, if that makes any sense to you guys. I think it's very special. Uh, or maybe it's just that I'm biased because I love radio. I love audio production and all that stuff. Have you seen uh, Wave Listen to Me, the first episode? Let me know down below. If not, uh, tell me what are some of your favorite uh, slice of life, unordinary manga. Very interested in finding out. Guys, as always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of We Can Geek Them. Thank you once again. Uh, subscribe for more content. Hit the bell icon so you see that content in your feed. Follow me on social media. All that stuff. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.